The Roe versus Wade case started in a Texas courtroom before it went to the U.S. Supreme Court back in the 1970s. We now know that Jane Roe was a woman named Norma McCorvey. She was pregnant and wanted an abortion but couldn't get one in Texas. Her attorneys, Sarah Weddington and Linda Coffey, were looking to challenge Texas abortion laws and took this court case to Dallas. Coffey still lives in Dallas. Weddington was a former Texas state representative and UT Austin alum. She died this past December and is buried at the Texas State Cemetery in East Austin. On the other side of the case was Dallas County District Attorney Henry Wade. It took three years of trials for this case to ultimately reach the Supreme Court. And in 1973, seven of the court's nine justices ruled the Constitution protects a woman's right to choose to have an abortion without excessive government restriction. Now, the story took an interesting turn in 1994. The woman we know as Roe changed her stance on abortion and took part in the anti-abortion movement. This is what Weddington told KVU about that change in stance back in 2003. And I do think that um, Norma McCorvey and I agree on one thing. She says that she was sorry she was the plaintiff, and I'm real sorry uh, that she was too, because it was actually women from Austin who had asked me to start the lawsuit and had offered to be the plaintiff. The Supreme Court still has an official decision to make, and we're going to keep following the story. You can find our continuing coverage on the website, caveview.com.